Understanding the DMARC Extension, a facility's most critical cabling channel. Presented by DMARC Extension Nationwide. This video will examine the DMARC Extension, its definition, history, the impact it has on a business, and issues caused when a DMARC extension is installed unreliably. The DMARC extension is the most important piece of cabling and transmission path within a building and is essential to the operations of a business. It is necessary to understand the fundamentals of a DMARC extension when considering the enterprise network of a commercial building. To understand what a DMARC extension is, it is helpful to be familiar with ECPE, or Edge Customer Premises Equipment. ECPE is the initial piece of customer premises equipment that is located at the separation point between the DMARC extension and the end user's internal network. This equipment is typically a CSU, DSU, router, or modem. A DMARC extension is the cabling that extends the telecommunications service from the access provider's side of the demarcation point to the edge customer premises equipment, or ECPE. This may include in-segment equipment, media converters, and patch cords as required to complete the circuit's transmission path to the ECPE. Due to a lack of set standards in the industry, there has been no set definition for a DMARC extension, leading many to use other words to describe this important piece of cabling. The term DMARC extension not only refers to the connection point at the access provider's side of the demarcation point, but also includes the complete cabling and transmission path to the ECPE. Adding to the confusion and the lack of industry standards, responsibility for the DMARC extension can be shifted to a number of entities involved. The person most directly affected is the end user, as their connectivity and dependent business operations are at risk. Also involved can be the carrier, local access provider, telecommunications agent, solution provider, and the DMARC extension contractor. The DMARC extension is governed by Part 68 of the FCC's regulations by which cabling and ECPE interface to the local access provider network. Over a period of many years, the industry has dealt with deregulations and a lack of set standards affecting the DMARC extension and ultimately the end user's connection to a business essential telecommunications network. The 1984 deregulation of the telecommunication industry established the demarcation point but triggered a loss of standardization and much confusion over responsibility for the DMARC extension. In August of 1990, the FCC amended the definition of the demarcation point, partially due to the industry confusion over the location within multi-unit premises. This amendment ensures it would be near the point where the cabling entered the customer's premises. The FCC acknowledged this confusion with the passage of the 12-inch rule, which provided guidelines for the location of the demarcation point. In June of 1997, the FCC amended the 12-inch rule to minimize location issues and further standardize the demarcation point. For more videos about the DMARC extension, visit us online at www.demarcextension.com. Select Video Library under the Resources tab.